Uh, welcome back to Calculus 3. And uh, this is a continued discussion of section 2.1, vectors. Uh, how about uh, I'm just moving to example 2.6. And a vector in a two-dimensional place, it is uh, an ordered pair. And also we understand a vector, it is a line segment with direction. So the question is, sometimes we do know the line and we do know the direction. How do we find out the component form? So example 2.6, it is to find the component form of rector with magnitude 4 and the angle of negative 45 degree. So in this case, what you can do here is uh, you may want to consider, well, sketch the vector first. This will be very helpful, okay x-axis, x-axis, y-axis, and with a length 4, with a length of 4. So roughly we are going to have a factor of this direction, this fashion, length of 4. And the angle, it is 45 degree. Do you know why this is for negative 45 degree? Basically, an angle it is considered formed by rotation. When you rotate along clockwise direction, you get a negative angle. Counterclockwise, that is a positive angle. So clearly, I'm saying negative 45. It's in the fourth quadrant. So this is negative 45 degree. And the x component, y component, using the Pythagorean theorem, or if you know the Soccato phrase, x. Okay, sine of 45, which is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Cosine, it is the adjacent of 45. But anyway, the 45, cosine, the sine, the sine. So four times cosine of negative 45, which is two times square root of two. And y, it is four times sine of negative 45. Sine of negative 45, it is negative square root 2 over 2. So y coordinate is negative. x coordinate is positive. Beware of the sign of x coordinate and the y coordinate. Okay. So the component form for the vector is 2 times square root of 2 and negative 2 times square root of 2. Vectors. A vector, it is a quantity with magnitude and uh, direction. In a two-dimensional or three-dimensional spaces, uh, a vector, it is just a line segment with direction. Okay. Magnitude, that's the length, direction, could be given by an angle, hopefully you see from this point, from this example here. One more example, uh, one more topic. Uh, many times we know vectors, different vectors could point to different directions. But anyway, we really want to make sure when we give out the directions, we have a standardized way to say a particular direction. I mean, for example, if I have an order of the pair one and one, they are pointing to, to a direction two and a two. Indeed, it is pointing to the same direction. So the next topic is how do we standardize a vector when we meant the direction, we want to have direction. So it is a unit vector. A unit vector, it is a vector with magnitude of one. Certainly it could, could point to any direction, okay. So in general, the way to find out a unit vector, you find out the norm of the vector, vector v. The norm, this is the norm of the vector v. Okay, multiply the reciprocal of the norm to the vector itself. And that way, always go give a vector with a magnitude of 1. A vector with a magnitude of 1, it is a unit vector. So this turns out to be unit vector. Unit vector. Vector v, vector u, and also if you want, I can show you. Well, I cannot show you, but anyway, I can show you the idea. Well, we could have a vector pointing in the same direction, but in a way of different size. So it's really a lot more efficient, but uh, it is just better when you see direction using a small uh, unit vector. Let's take a quick look. 
Example 2.7, finding a unit of act in this direction, one and a two. Okay. So first say, I'm going to say here, yeah, that you need to find out the norm of the vector V. Or maybe just check with the textbook, the norm of the vector V tends to be square root of five. Then remember the way to generate a unit of vector, it is multiply the vector by the reciprocal of the norm. So the unit of vector in the same direction Simply it is the one over square root of five and the two over square root of five. And how about uh, work on part B? How do we find out of vector W? And uh, supposedly it will have to be in the same direction of V, and uh, but the norm will be different. F to answer part B, you may want to use the result from part A first. Because we know the norm of this vector, a unit of vector, it is just the one. And you want to find out a new vector w such that the norm is 7. What you need to consider here is simply multiply the unit of vector by the scalar quantity 7. So simply we are having a new vector, which is 7 over square root of 5 and 14 over square root of 5. This is the vector in the same direction of V, but the norm is 7. The norm is 7. So I think that it is uh, the discussion on the textbook part for the vectors. And mostly it's about two dimensional vectors, but anyway, a lot of conclusions can be extended uh, to the three dimensional case. Thank you for watching.